Now, hold on a minute, player. We're going to have ourselves a tag team match. What's up? I'm a tax log. This is my last play of the 2K16 2K Showcase mode, and that is right. We are thugging and bugging today. It is the two-man power trip versus the Brothers of Destruction at Backlash 2001. Here we go, and apparently it is just no entrances. We're just starting off like this, getting right into it, skipping all the entrance stuff as the two-man power trip is going to run wild here. And we have a tag team match for the first time in this 2K showcase mode, because obviously Austin spent a lot of his time in singles. Didn't do a lot of tag team wrestling. Uh, obviously did a bunch of it in WCW with Brian Pillman as the Hollywood Blondes, but not a whole lot of it in WWE. Uh, and I see that Stephanie McMahon Helmsley is at ringside. So this was the McMahon Helmsley era, and with, with her big poofy hair, Going, my husband, Triple H, all the damn time. Uh, and Austin has those red knee braces because he's a bad guy. And eventually we're going get, to get started with a match here, which would be nice. Uh, certainly I should be talking about recent news, but at this point it's not recent news because I'm recording this on Friday. And it is going to be airing on Sunday. So, uh, Billy Gunn just got fired. Uh, but obviously by the time I, t I tell you that, it is already old news, so unfortunately I can't be up to date on Billy Gunn getting fired. Uh, but apparently he was powerlifting in his spare time and got suspended from powerlifting for using performance-enhancing drugs. And they found out, and they were like, uh, you're fired. Now, obviously he's not an active wrestler at the moment. You know, he had that kind of nostalgia run last year, uh, with Road Dogg. And he's in this game, but he's in, he's in this game as badass Billy, Billy Gunn, you know, like, from 15 years ago. The Violent Redneck. Hey, Kane. That's gotta be Kane. Kane 01 is, is... Alright, so that's... Here we go. I don't want to... No, I don't want to submit him. What the hell are you doing? Just beat him up. Just beat him up. Whatever you gotta do, just beat him up. I know one of Austin's things on, on the ground here is the arm, but he reversed it. And sweep the legs. That sucks. God damn it, Kane. Spine buster. Watch him tag out now. Uh, neck breaker. I thought Austin had a, well... He had that arm thing that he was doing for a while, and apparently now he's not doing it, so... Maybe it's hold a direction and do the thing on the... There we go. Of course, that's the wrong arm, but, you know, what are you gonna do? I'm, I'm not sure... It, well, that that counted. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm not sure if, if arm damage is individual arms, or if it is just hurt an arm and hurt both arms. Because that sounds okay to me. Indomitable. So yeah, there, if you want to get into the secrets of why Billy Gunn looks amazing at like 51, there you go. It's called performance enhancing back body drop drugs. Uh, elevated testosterone in his system. So there's that. No, I don't want to do that. What are you... What are you doing, Austin? I want to damage his arm. Want to damage his arm. Do the move. Do the arm move. I'm I'm begging you, Steve. Do the arm move. I wasn't hitting the right stick to pick him up. Just No, do the... What the fuck are you doing, Steve? Uh, I just want to hurt his arm. There. Okay. We've done that. As Austin grapple a down Kane. Yep, doing that too. Working the arm. Alright. So is it going to leave me as Austin or is it going to let me play as Triple H? Or is it not going to matter because we're in a cutscene? I guess that's, you know, 
also a possibility. Or am I going to play as Austin just beating the crap out of Kane on the outside with this chair that the ref conveniently didn't hear? Didn't happen. Rep didn't see it, it didn't happen. That's the rules of wrestling. And there's a the ref. Nope, nope, nope. That's illegal. You can't be using the chair. So am I back to being... Alright, now I'm Triple H. Damage the Undertaker. Well, I guess that means we gotta get Kane to tag out. Which means that I'm just gonna do one of these. Oh god, he reversed it. What offense? I just got my ass kicked. What offense, he says. Alright, Kane, go tag out like a good... Yeah, there you go. There you go. Just creep over there. Great. Now, Taker's, like, fresh here. That's not good. Alright. Damage Taker as Triple H. So, they're, you know... At least they're letting us continue to play, as opposed to, Hey, this is the Austin Showcase. You only play as Austin. Stand on the fucking rope. God damn it. Woo! Nice clothesline. As Austin Damage Kane. So, uh, L1. L1. Go tag out, because Kane's already pretty much, uh, he's just there. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna stun him here. Boom. Tag in Triple H. I can do that. That was easy enough. Hit the pedigree on Kane. I don't have the pedigree yet. Uh, but we gotta make sure Kane doesn't leave the ring, which is gonna be, you know, making sure he doesn't tag out. Now, it doesn't say hit, you know, it, it, it's not specifying that it has to be in the ring and that he has to be the legal man like we're gonna assume that that's the case uh but you know the game their things here are not always the most specific things in the world unless you actually can go in, into the menu and look which is always weird and suck it so we can't let kane tag out here they're trying to accomplish this oh he reversed that holy shit he's gonna tag out don't take out, Kane. Reversed it. I'm getting marginally better at the reversals in this game, which is nice. Uh, I don't... Uh-oh, he's doing his comeback. No, I wanted to do my signature, goddammit. Ah, oh, too fast. Square! Square, whatever square does. It's X. I'm hitting X. There we go. What the hell was that? Good God Almighty. Let's uh, do my signature here, which should be the Spine Buster. And then we're going to do the Charge Finisher, which is the Pedigree. Now, is this game going to be accurate? Is this game going to be accurate? Let's see. One, two. Game was not accurate. So Kane, Kane, uh, he always takes the Pedigree on his, like, one of his knees goes down. He never actually takes it all the way flat on his belly like you're supposed to. And he's always done it like that, so... Uh, attention to motherfucking detail is all I'm asking for. Even when he got the pedigree from Seth, he did the same thing, where his one of his knees comes down every damn time, and it's the dumbest thing. Like, you know, that's just how he is as a performer, and that's how it's gonna be, and I get that, but, you know, kind of put that in the game, because I'd appreciate that attention to detail. Maybe nobody but me and my friends are going to notice, but can't tri can't tag in trips here if he's not here to tag in. So uh, make your way around here, Mr. H's, as uh, what's his face called him, as uh, R Truth called him, Mr. H's. No, tag him in. Also, no. Also, no tag ropes, which uh, would seem to be a pretty tr tr trivial thing to put in this game. Instaguri from Kane. Uh, like, no... Tag ropes are a thing. Like, you know, most of the guys ignore them, but tag ropes are totally a thing. The dead man doing his punches. I remember when Undertaker had that, had that one paper paper where he wore those fucking snakeskin pants. So the ugliest goddamn pants. It was amazing. 
And then he used to do those corner punches and go. Bah, 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 bah. It was pretty funny. Last ride. Boom. Didn't see the tag. Not the legal man. There's Stone Cold. Stunner! Get the chair, get the belt, get something, Steph. Dude, her hair looks weird. It's not as poofy as I remember it. I mean, it's awful. It's awful crinkly. Who runs with a belt like that? Obviously, it's gonna get reversed. Dumbass. And there's Choke Slam. But still, not legal man. Why? Why is Vince here with the fucking sledgehammer? Boom! Right in the arm. That's it. He's got to be dead. He's got to be Kane. I thought Triple H wasn't a legal man, so... Isn't Austin a legal man? And there we go. The two-man power trip continues in the winners and new WWF Tag Team Champions before they had those awful-ass penny belts that I don't like. like I like the old tag belts. They're nice. Oh man, that video package just went through so much stuff. It went through so much of the formation of the Alliance, WCW, ECW, that Survivor Series, obviously you can't have a traditional Survivor Series match in this game because you can't have five on five. It won't fit ten guys on screen, you can only have three on three. Uh, and it had a bunch of stuff with Kurt Angle, which obviously Kurt Angle not in this game. So we go through all the stuff, the opening of this pay-per-view to crown the first Undisputed Champion. This was the night that Chris Jericho beat The Rock and Stone Cold in the same night. And so we're going to join a match in progress tomorrow uh, with Stone Cold versus Chris Jericho to crown the first Undisputed Champion. Spoiler, this match Austin does not win. So look forward to that tomorrow, man. They just glaze over so much stuff in those video packages. They're, they're really, really well done, and it's a shame that I can't show them here on YouTube without getting flagged by the goddamn WWE. But that is what it is. Uh, certainly, uh, th that stuff is interesting. But tomorrow, Stone Cold Chris Jericho, Vengeance 01. We are three quarters of the way through this 2K showcase. We actually, if I hit, if I hit back here, uh, we are 79%. So, not much more. And then those bonus matches, and then my career, so look forward to that. That's going to be the, re the Revenge of Ebenezer, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, as always, I am your host, Tax Slug, and I will see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.